Finishing out today's show, ladies and gentlemen, with Celeste in Los Angeles. Maybe we'll have time to go down to Georgia and talk to Katrina, too. Hey, Celeste, thanks for the phone call. You are live. Hey, Dr. Clayton. Um, I have a, a friend of mine. Um, he has uh, prostate cancer, and he's doing um, chemo and radiation. Yeah. And that's about all I know. Well, look, um, he's been sold a false bill of goods. At least they didn't cut it out on him. Um, yeah. You know, the simple solution here, or step one uh, for everybody who's diagnosed with cancer, should be should be mandatory that they should ask their oncologist in the presence of a witness and a recording device the ten questions that are in my book on uh, that are in the chapter in cancer in my book. The MD Emperor Has No Clothes, which is available at my website. Everybody just needs to be straightforward. Everybody just needs to sit down around a table and say, hey, look, Doc, for goodness sake, uh, you know you know what type of cancer I have. You know what the Gleason score is. You know what stage it is. Can you cure my cancer? <laughs> yes or no? And if you can't cure it, well, what can I expect? And what will the treatment do? And can the treatment give me cancer? And what are the side effects of the treatment? And what are you going to do for the side effects? And how much are you going to profit from all of this nonsense? And how much is the hospital going to profit? And why are you recommending I get on board with a treatment that doesn't cure the cancer? <clears throat> and now there's a couple more questions, too, but that's basically the, the gist of it. Now, honest to God, Celeste, I mean, you know, this is not... Uh, 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 a rant against everything that the MDs have to offer because, you know, thank God for the sterile technique and Novocaine and morphine, right? They're good at what they do when it comes to stuff that they're good at. They're horrible at cancer. And, you know, it's snake oil. Most of the cancer treatments delivered around the world today are snake oil because they don't cure cancer. They don't. The doctors don't tell the patients up front that they can't cure the cancer. They sell them a false bill of goods. They you know, make money based on generating false hope. It's snake oil, for goodness sake. But, you know, because that's the standard operating procedure and because they're kings of the hill, they can get away with it. So one way is to take the Zen sword and just slice this Gordian knot right into and it's ten simple wow. questions. Ten simple questions in the presence of a recording device and a witness. Now, we don't treat cancer, right? right. We, don't, we don't treat anything. We support and promote the body's ability to optimize the structure and function. Now, to do that with the prostate gland, in order to optimize the structure and function of the prostate gland, uh, research clearly shows that selenium taken at 200 micrograms a day reduces the incidence of prostate cancer 64%. Reduces the incidence of prostate cancer 64%. So, therefore, one could speculate that selenium might not be a bad thing for anybody to take. So my recommendation to support and promote his immune system in this regard would be one anti-aging healthy start pack, original formula, one anti-aging healthy start pack, original formula, two selenium, two selenium, Two boxes of triple treat chocolate. Bet you didn't think I was going to say that. And two and two bottles of Z radical per 100 pounds of body weight per month. Plus eliminate the ten bad foods. Uh, and you know, have him ask the oncologist these questions uh, because when if if and I've had patients kicked out of. The, the onc I've had oncologists refuse to answer these questions. They storm out of the room, well, which is nonsense, right? But if you can actually get a medical professional to give you straight and honest answers about cancer therapy, most people would not do the cancer therapy. They wouldn't. Because why on earth would I do something that isn't going to cure my cancer, which is going to create a boatload of side effects, which is going to change my personality, and which might give me cancer, and which is going to break my financial bank? Why on earth would I do that? Well, you wouldn't do that, but people don't know any better, and they get, you know, steamrolled by the guy in the white coat. And it's a, it's a tragedy of biblical proportions.